Welcome on back everybody, Ever Egg Gaming Gear, another exciting episode with more, it's Blade Chronicles 3 on the Nintendo Switch, so welcome to it. So, last time, cause um, we got done uh, doing the um, the standard quest for Juniper the other day, and uh, so far so good, cause uh, we done the um, the Austin costume, and the one that's called the uh, the Tau Turkins Alliance. So, those are the two standard quests that we are uh, 100% finished on doing, because here we are back in Colony 4, so there's a, a lot of these are people that we gotta talk to because they got something new to say. So we can go talk to Emogen. Or I am Mogan. I, I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but you know what? Let me just go talk to you. What's up? Something on your mind? Uh, what? Uh, sorry? She seems a bit uh, preoccupied. Uh, let's uh, get her some space. Always nice to see a new face. Okay, so as you guys can see here, because um, we have, um, okay, well, I thought we got it on Freestar. Okay, well, that's not close to getting to Freestar. Well, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. All right, talking to Maybatch. Uh, sandstorms are out in the other wilderness are, are causing a lot of uh, respiratory problems among troops at the moment. Our current equipment isn't uh, up to the task. We don't even have protective masks. I don't know how to fix this. Hmm, I'll speak with uh, uh, Alessandra later, see if uh, she can uh, give us some guidance on that. Okay, well, yeah, you go do that. Well, you're not actually, you're not typically giving me any uh, infinity points to, uh, to raise up more experience. Okay, talking to Brunella. Uh, Rippy Blazer is back. If you're making your way to the Swords Marcher, then you should have made use of LC Spouter as a landmark. LC Spouter, you say? Okay, I got it. Uh, sometimes else, uh, okay, uh, something else you'd be well advised to be still clear of than a desert. It's a very dangerous place. A desert, huh? Well, I don't think I wanted to go there any way dangerous or not. Okay, uh, talking to this next character named Laszlo. Uh, some of the troops say that people like me serving in the uh, catering corps are cowards and we couldn't uh, hack it at the front. I would say to them how much of fighting are you gonna get done on an empty stomach. I got a point, right? Every single person I hear at, at the colony is a fighter or on their own battlefield. Uh, I'm starting to sound like messy now. Well, yeah, true on that. Okay, so any of new people with stars on it, let's go ahead and, and uh, talk to everybody. So talking to Alessandra. I don't have too much to complain about the with a May Badger as an assistant except for his uh, fixation on procedures and manuals. I preferred it if uh, he was uh, just a bit more flexible in his uh, thinking. I wonder if there's a way to fix that. Okay, so we don't actually have any infinity improving. So that's something that so it's something that it haven't. I mean, what as I was saying, I mean, it's something that had to do with the infinity gauge improving to each and every one of the bases, which um. Well, not basic. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna just say that because that's uh, one of the on uh, the flame clock gauge where we had to keep improving. So let's just see where the canteen is. So the canteen is uh, somewhere where we go sit down and discuss our I'm next top priority. So just to take a look for the the, uh, the news discuss topic over here. So it's the scene like we're getting here is a uh, free new standard quest available. So the, the one that we need to get done here is uh is called the uh, Tetitian Plan. So that's the, uh, the new standard quest that we had to get done. And we're worried about that getting uh, one of these uh, two colonies later. Right now, we have to stay on test here. So we had to do the one which is called Monster Around Colony 4. Okay, well, this is good. Well, this doesn't have a standard quest. But uh, we'll go ahead and hear what these characters have to say. Uh, say, you know, those are as far things. Uh, they really make my skin crawl. Oh, I know. I heard of you ratching uh, last time uh, we fought them. When I saw them in uh, Eager's Wilderness, I was like, well prepared to go breakfast. And uh, what's that the stuff that they bomb up? Because to me, it looked just like, stop, not a word or more, I beg you. I'm already at 105% to creep out. Okay, turn it around then. What a monster you like? Well, duh, people toes are uh, clearly, very fluffy fur, just uh, give me a life. I will hear no objection on this. Uh, what about you, Santa Love? A Ferris's. Bad pardon? A Ferris's, they're just a cool, okay? And uh, they have those uh, massive triceps. I kind of wish I was one, honestly. I see. Well, I suppose uh, there's uh, no accounting for taste in it. Okay, so we each gain 
100 spin points. Well, 100 spin points is so uh, it's will be allowed. Okay, so let's go look at the one that's called tactician plan. Right then, strategy meeting. I wonder what the messy plan is. Whatever. It is that he he trusts us now, right? It's something to celebrate. Yeah, it's a good to know what we haven't just uh, been yelling into the void. We're useful. That said, not everyone was happy. That uh, Jeremy a lad, he's uh, probably been through a lot. And Massey says it himself, not everyone's uh, ready to, to be busy with, with us. In which case, it, it is wise uh, to, to take him at his word. I think uh, we should, must even, be a warrior about colony for naturally. And if uh, we can uh, resolve the misunderstanding about us, as uh, Massey said, well say, Mimi. Act first or worry later. Yeah? Yeah, there's no point to rehashing it. We just need to do what we believe is right. Okay, so it's the one that's called the, te the tactical eradication. Alright, so let's go ahead and press on B. And let's go and get one of the standard right, quests done at one, Colony one, 4. So hold on. Now, it's a scene like that we got here. It's, uh, it's Floran that has something new to say. Okay, Floran, can I, can I at least talk to you, please? Thank you. Hey, by the way, uh, have you met the Yord from the, the Tactician Squad yet? Yord and I are kind of a unique, a unit. Uh, sure, she's a, a little uptight sometimes, but I really depend on her for a lot. Anyway, if you see her, you sure to say hi. It'll be good for us, to, us all to, to get to, to know each other, right? Huh. Would you believe it? Okay, well, that's something that doesn't have to do to increase up the infinity of our gauge. So we don't get much affinity point for this. So you know what? Let's go to destination map and let's work to whatever place that we go. So you know what? We can go ahead and fast travel our way back to where we pick off back at base at the outpost. So I think we need to be somewhere inside of the hatch. Okay, so... Going inside this base here, so we're, we were to put, hold on, so there is a new, hold on, we're going to be running on fumes if we uh, keep this up. Have those new supplies still not arrived yet? I apologize. I will go make an uh, inquiry to the uh, procurement of division right away. Okay, so this is irritation, so there's a new topic available. Alright, so we, we are getting new info for each character. So that's something we were missing. So let's just go ahead and check up and down so just to see. Okay, now down below. So I'm seeing because there is another. I heard of that there's no point for maintenance that hadn't come back yet. I'm starting to think that they could have gone AWOL. That can't be. They uh, won't. Well, they wouldn't have anywhere to go if they did that. Okay, so this is colony for no point. Alright, so we can go close in that, and I don't actually see any info recently, so we're, we're fine. So, there's nothing going around here in every colony, so let's just go in, uh, and have a talk with Massey. I have to go talk to him, and see what's on his mind. Wait, you're really going to accept? <sighs> Come on, mate. You're the one who brought it up. It's strange for me to say, but it's uh, quite better shelf this request. Nothing I could have done if you had changed your mind. Do you trust us a bit now? I do. I learned not to be so hasty in judging people. So what's the plan? Essentially, uh, there are three monsters to take out. But not essentially, it won't be easy. Which is why you came to us. Good guess. These three are pretty big deals. They control all the monsters around the colony perimeter. As you could say, they are the boss monsters. We scout out their lairs, uh, but Colony 4 doesn't have the firepower to spare on an extermination mission right now. Deploying all of the squads who are meant to be protective of Colony would be pretty backwards. But as long as the beast bosses are running wild, you can't resolve the monster's attacks. Exactly. So offended you can do it? In our sleep, but we'll take them out in no time. Can we find out there any more about these monsters? If you want to know more, then you should have asked the scouts who found the little layers. My team, uh, actually, Jeremy, Floran, and Yord are your guys. Oh wait, wasn't that Jeremy the one who was with you before? Uh, yeah. Look, if he gives you any grief, report it to me, and I'll deal with him. 
First order of business is to the top two rows of free scout men. Fan stuff for this. And go hunting. Okay, so I, I I just hope you mean happy hunting. So this is yours request. Okay, and we got, got Florence's request. Okay, and we got Jeremy's request. Okay, so that's a lot, a lot of requests that we had to get Which finished on doing. So we had to get each free request done for Jeremy. So your is over there, so let's go talk to your. Captain's already briefed me. I'll give you a, the info we have collected on the monster. Much appreciated. It's an evolve of a bigger than a normal one. It covers a, a wide territory and is extremely agile. We are analyzing movement and confirm a Pianto Boston as we are the site of his lair. And that's about it. Thanks. That's a plenty of information for us to be getting on with. Don't let your guard down. We already lost our friends to this. We'll take it seriously and we'll do our best to put it down. Thank you. Okay, so we got that one check off. So, uh, you know what? We got it's uh, plenty more and more of these people that we got to keep talking to. We go ahead and look at this map. So, there's only three more. So, we done the one for yours. So, it's now that doesn't get crossed out in our box. So, uh, I think I misturned the direction. I think, yeah, I think I misturned up the, the direction. So, I think we're supposed to be somewhere. Okay, hold on. Where are we going this time? Hold on, let's check up here some more. Okay, so Floran and and Jeremy had got to be somewhere above above base. Okay, so here are now in the uh, central hangar. So they had to be up there, can they? I mean, we might as well check because the very container. But you know what? I don't have to be. I don't have the time to uh, to, to focus on containers right now so let's just let's just check what's upstairs first and let's just check on every rooms so here we are in the command room at colony 4 because uh, there's more to see and done around here but now we're in the observation deck okay please tell me we're getting closer please tell me okay so there is uh, Jeremy what do you want didn't Massey uh, tell you uh, we wanted to hear what you uh, know about for the monsters you scout out? Okay, so that is Noah's talking in the background. Tuh, the targets are hunting the grounds are southwest of here in Nail Valley. Anything else? Not for you. What well, isn't a knowing is a location enough? Try not to die, traitors. Or listen, you. Leave it to Lens. Hmm. Yeah, Lens, take it easy. You're. you're, you're you're just uh, going in the hard place. You just, just got to take it easy, my guy. You, you just got to take it easy. Don't get your don't, don't get your hopes up. I mean, you're, you're just overconfident yourself. Okay, now, I think we were supposed to be moving out here because now we're on top of the observation deck. So let's just take the drop. So we go lose 819. Okay, and I do, and I do see this is where we get off, right? Okay, so now we're going to take a, a little bit more damage. And we can carry on and we move out of here at the outside. So there's the last guy that we got to go talk to is named Floran. So uh, let's go and see where Floran is. Okay, so she's straight over there. So he's just uh, chilling out where she's uh, standing on the fence. Here you are. I guess you want to know about the monster. Correct. Would you be willing to, to give us uh, more detailed information? Your enemies are the boss of the Erasnos. And it's a fact that wasn't trouble enough that it will have brought its minions along. If you want to be certain to catch it, you'll want to ambush it by Raptor Perch. Makes sense. Raptor Perch, did you say? Where is that exactly? In the middle of Dana Desert, east of here. Got it. Well, take a look. People die even to, to get this uh, much information, you know. But then we had to defend the colony. So I don't say this is out of duty. Or all of our hope will go with you. Okay, so that's a new request that we finished. Now, it's a scene like that we talked to... To each three people. Jeremy, Floran, and yours. So now... 
that we we got that check off so we can go ahead and take a look at the map just to see where we're, where we're going so it's a scene like that we gotta go and scatter out at the raptor perch so we'll check back there at the raptor perch it's uh, where we're heading okay and we'll go see where this monster is so there's like dozens of a monster that we gotta go take out uh, I want to try to go back to the, this cave again to see if I can get that container because I got my butt beat by the, the crawler caterpillar, the caterpillar a, a long time. And I really do think we should go and teach them a lesson or two. Well, you know what? Let's just go have some fun with it. So anyway, we're going to continue going deep uh, beneath the, uh, the cave at, while we go ahead and collect more rareable items. Okay, so we keep on heading straight this pathway. So go through this tunnel. Okay, so we go and open the map so we'll see where we're going. Well, I wanted to check to see if we're going in the right direction. Just so that the map will go lead me to the container. I mean, but we wouldn't stand a chance. I mean, but they know you're, you're super strong and we, we don't have uh, no purpose or reason of taking them all down. Because uh, we, they felt you're, you're super strong. Okay, now we can. Oh, actually, yeah, I forgot because uh, <laughs> you were supposed to go and hide the objective and not go and show it in the game. Now, let's just can carry on this way. So, we may find something good while we see because of there is a container that is waiting for us. So, while we're at it, so we can go ahead and open up the container. So, we won't bother taking out the um, the crawlers. Okay, so we experienced a little bit of money and a little bit of, of this uh, pure gemstone that we're collecting here. So let's move out of this cave while we still can and let's just carry out because there is a multiple chance of just finding all of these these uh, containers lying around here, including the under soldiers. Huh? So we gotta keep a lookout for that one. Okay, so I collect the one that's called Cotton Branch. All right, so that's. That's just like like more than enough material that we're just picking up on the ground. Like so look at up here of this uh, mechanic of this contraption because I think this is the one that we already saw already because we just go ahead and turn the tables around just so that we get the door to open. All right then, so here we are back outside. So uh, we can press onward this direction. So I think this is the path to where we go ahead and find out where you know what? Am I going the wrong direction? Hold on. Do I just go the wrong way? Oh shoot! You know what? Okay, I I think I was going the wrong way. My bad. So I think we were supposed to be moving straight this pathway. Okay, well I thought, for example, I mean, I thought it's going to take me to where the the, the cave lead to the uh, upper to the upper floor. Well, you know what? Huh. Where exactly am I going? Oh yeah, you know what? I think we were just supposed to be up there. So we have the ability to go and and move up the sand. So we can press onward upward. So we see all of these enemies in the Feronas are level are on level twenty. They're mm -hmm. level higher by twenty, so uh, they won't take us all down. I mean, we felt super strong that way. So uh, we can press onward this way. Now we're looking at here east. These monsters are on level 30, so this can't be too bad. And we got one of his her minions that are level 29. Okay, so open up this container. So we'll go and kick it. And we'll pick it up here. It's more and more and more of these on no pawn silver coins. So I'm guessing we should go and target on the, on the mother. So this is uh Midana Arashno. Okay, so I got the top hole, so do everyone have daze or burst? Well, I'm gonna just go ahead and just burst and we'll get our fusion on. Okay, so Uni is the only one with the Guardian Commander. So we'll go for swoop. Okay, you know what? Let's, let me go ahead and focus on taking down the, um, the spiders. I want some guy to help me out here, so we need to, to work together here and not take too much damage. Okay, so we take out the spider first and then the, the mother. 
Okay, so you know what? I need to go and target on this one. Okay, so I need to target on this little spider. So we gotta watch out because if it's a arrest, it's gonna be dive. Okay, so the one that's called die break. Okay, now I fully understand. Okay, and this uh, last monster we need to take out is uh, okay. So go using Queen Bite. Well, that's an interesting move there. And also we can go use the Deflector Shield. Okay, and the KB East characters uh, felt like they wanted to get full protection. Then so be it. Then they can take full protection. Okay, and we had to keep a bill a lot of arts so that in case that we go in and use more chin attack because that's the only way these characters are going to boost up more and more in infinity. But uh, just so that they can go ahead and build one of their special art talents, then we might as well see it in action and get ready for it. Okay, so you know what? I think it's time that we go use our Ouroboros. Okay, so we have a limit of chances to go and step up into the fight. So it's a seem like that we have not done increase up enough for our chin attack. Uh, and that is that we charging at our gauge. Well, it just give us a little bit of time to increase up its gauge. But it's a seem like we almost got this. Okay, we, well we don't actually need the, um, the chin attack to pull up a stun to uh, to the fully attacker with every other every other art combos. So it said you have uh, eliminated the monster that uh, Florian indicated. Uh, you have report. You can report back to the Massey once all is done. Okay, and that being said, so we can pick up more of the uh, materials and go back to map, so we can um, warp to whatever location we go around here. So let's start start off somewhere, somewhere far up to the north at the um, the Galar, the, the Galar Manor. Or, or is it Men Ire? I'm, I'm not sure if I'm saying that last name correctly, but you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and steep up on carried onward to the uh, Eagles Wilderness. Okay, so it's somewhere at the Pianto Basin. So let's go ahead and, uh, and show the map first. Okay, so we need to be somewhere above this corner. Okay, now we went into encounter these uh, Debrian Debria Bolt. Okay, well, it looks uh, a little ruined because it compared to like this um what's the, the this what's the Pokemon called that have that is uh, like a ponytail? Okay, well, it's a fire type Pokemon. I can't even like um okay, sorry, I I am not collect any uh, Pokemon cards, so forgive me if I don't remember what what the name of this Pokemon it used to look like. But uh, I'll, I'm not gonna burn up that reference right now. I'm not gonna burn it up. Okay, so we're gonna build more smash combo. We're gonna build up more focus. Okay, so more focus equals more concentration. So we can each take the um, deflection shield or deflector field. I mean, okay, my mistake. So I'm gonna go for the one called the shield bash. So let's go ahead and build up one topple. So we are increasing up a lot stronger. So we, we each get free healing. Okay, so each one of the healing that we get from is a uh, Mio and Senna. So those three girls, Mio and Senna, are the only ones that have the um, the formature, the formature weapon, the one that the the class that they learn from the teach. All right, so we're gonna step back a little bit. Okay, so we're building more topple. Okay, so I don't see nobody using Dave, but um, it will do. Okay, so let's get the tongue going. And we'll go for the uh, giant swing. Let's go and build up more combo. And there we have it. So the quest is completed for yours. So it says that you have uh, eliminated the monitor that the yours indicated. Uh, you can report back to the Massey once all is done. Okay, so uh, let's. So we don't actually get reward for this. So we can just. So we can rank up and go and get the last one done. So very saw because that's all two, that's all two of the um, the, the standard requests that, that we finished for these people that is already done. So we got your and Florian that is already finished. So now we should go do the one, which is Jeremy of Nets. 
So uh, let's see where it's located at. Okay, so we're, so we have to go head back to the Gorge of Odie. Okay, so the, the Gorge of Odie is our last stop. So uh, let's go on ahead and take a look at around it to see where we're going. So I think it's somewhere down east from here. Okay, so we go down east. So we head down east from here and we saw it already because this is a one of the monsters that we gotta go beat. So this one shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so this monster, so this Taurus, Taurus Tau. Okay, so this is on the the Taurus Tau. That's the name of the um the, the the boss that we had to take out. Well, this is one of the other uh, mini bosses that we had to, to to clear out. So you know what? We can go ahead and waste one of our Ouroboros specials. And I want to go ahead and switch into another Ouroboros. Okay, so we switch into our second form of our Ouroboros. And we can just like keep on like building up more of our tactics of our of our arts. Okay, and we can get off the Ouroboros and still keep fighting. Because this uh, so this monster used to look like the um some ho o it's the on the whole world from uh, from the Pokemon series. Okay, well, in case you all remember from Game Freak, I mean, this used to look like the the whole world. You can tell by his wings because he's like some fire type Pokemon, and somehow he has so he's one legendary fire type bird type Pokemon. So that is uh, what I'm looking at the resemblance compared to um to the Huo and and this uh, Tawaris. So uh, this is the end of the, the comparison. I no, they, they they it makes it different that way because those are the, the same different types of, of species what we're looking at here because uh, those are two you're looking at here is the um, the the Tawaris and the um, the Ho O or is it the O Ho? Okay, hold on. I mentioned to say this is the Ho O. Okay, well I remember that game because I used to play Pokemon Heart Gold back in the day. So uh, you have eliminated the monster that uh, Jeremy indicated. And you can report back to Mansi once all is done. All right. So you know what? So we got all three done. So we should go and make a status report. So I would go to destination map. Okay. So this is where we go in Fat Shovel back at Colony Four, back at home base. Right then. Time to head back. Okay. So we're at the command room. So that's not where we need to be going. And and it appears like the container is somewhere. At the high top, which I can't get to. Okay, so we can go ahead and keep on dropping and take low proportion of damage and talking to Massey. Massey is done. All three of monsters are taken care of. What? Really? Here's some proof. A little bit of each of the monsters. Isn't nature beautiful? This is a huh? Wow. Um. Yeah. Thanks. This is where result in the less attack from the monster too. That's uh, got to be good. Well, take it up from here, then. Don't worry, we won't let your work to be in vain. That said, if I were to ask for one more little favor, yeah, sure, whatever you want. Could you have run these uh, monster pieces to up to the uh, procurement of division? The uh, procurement division? The department in the charge of managing the colony supplies. They deal with the anything scavenged from monsters. Okay, well, the head of your division is called Solon. Tell him I sent you. He'll understand. Okay, so long, got it. I will hand the goods over. Thanks again for all this. I can't uh, express uh, how grateful I am. Okay, now talking to Massey, reacting uh, dynamically to the flow of battle. That's a uh, pretty impressive, I say. Ouroboros of power is uh, not to be sniffed at. They say uh, that the attack is the best defense as you have the option to repress brutal attacks, harnessing the, uh, the firepower of the, the full team. And that'll be some of vicious uh, offense uh, indeed, but the essence of tactics uh, is to adapt uh, to the enemy. Yeah, I'm sure you're right about that. Overwhelming uh, force accounted for nothing if uh, you can't uh, survive a battle. Okay, so now we have to go and uh, talk to this uh, specified character named Solon. Alright then, so let's just go ahead and press onward down this row as we go ahead and boost up a little bit. So we go ahead and and steep toe down this hill and go and check in to see where Solon's at to tell him what's and tell him the, the good news so we'll go ahead and and talk to this guy hello can I help you 
Messi, I asked us to give you these. Let's see. Oh, it looked like a certain operation went pretty well. Thanks so much for everything you've done. I'll find a good use for these. It was pretty out of character for Massey to have entrusted you with get this job. We fought the soul too. Like getting that outsiders involved in such an important task. No, not that. I mean, on a personal level, Massey used it to be such a lone wolf. We're in the same uh, cohort, and uh, he used it to be a real loser cannon. Uh, he was uh, really a lot to deal with. Uh, really? Him? That is uh, a surprise. The old Massey uh, would uh, have gone on a solo monster hunt. But the, somehow he became a squatted captain and learned how to ask for help. It's a kind of a moving story, really. Oops, uh, that certainly uh, took a turn. Uh, let's just uh, keep this between us, okay? Hope to see you around the colony. Alright, so there we go. So we have that quest completed. And we have here, if it's new award called the Ellis Stone Belt. Okay, so couldn't wait to try it out on these characters. So the party of Delta with the boss monsters wonderfully. There, there should be a lesser of a, a threat to, from monsters now. Huh. Okay, so we're gonna keep at it. So as you guys can see here, because uh, we have increased up three of our stars. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the more the merrier, so because uh, we we keep on getting each of uh, people's requests done. Jeremy uh, got a real nasty attitude for sure, but you have to bear in mind that Agnes uh, kill his friends. Emotion often uh, gets ahead of logic. So you might just need to, to tread carefully around him in case he gets any ideas. How about, about I sock at him all... Uh, okay, I'm sorry. How about I sock him a one first? Uh, that put him in his place. Lanza, are you for real? Yeah, pretty much he, he is. So he's not lying. Monte is only a single word, but it, it hides a true diversity. Some of you only see it ni at night, the others only in certain weather. Maybe if this sounds like a trivia to you now, but in some situations it could mean the difference between life and death. Indeed, to know your enemy is to conquer him. A maxim I have ever lived by. I couldn't agree more. You can't go wrong with a good bit of intel. Okay, so talking to Jeremy in the back. So, uh, still alive, are you? And uh, you look well. Even worse. Fuck it, though. Why everyone around here such as nothing good here to sue? It can't end the light bit. It just can't. Okay, so we get a little bit by 10 affinity points. Alright, not bad. So, uh, wait a minute. Now, there is a new quest available. And it's coming somewhere down this row. Okay, so we are getting a lot of these uh, quests going on around here in every colony. So, what's going on here? So let's go and investigate. Hey, you. Are you okay? Uh, uh, the unit all dead. Got to report to Captain. Shh, don't talk. Get him the, to get, get him to the other medic team. Hurry. Okay, so we're here. The new quest called Severe Connection. All right then. So I saw it already because of there is a supply job that is uh, smoking from uh, above the clouds. And speaking of which, um, let's just go ahead and sell it at the canteen just to discuss the next priority. So we want to uh, interact that. So before we go on to the uh, quest, got to take regular breaks. so we want to see if there's anything that we can discuss about. Okay, you know what? So we're getting here if these are two new side quests available. So uh, let's go ahead and press B and let's just uh, call it a day, alright? So you know what you guys, I do believe that's going to have to do it. So next time on Zero Blade Chronicles 3, we're going to to stick around to just finishing up two of the, uh, the the standard quests for Colony 9. So there's uh, a lot to take on in Colony 4 because there's uh, more to do here. Because uh, we're going to see whatsoever is uh, happening to this, uh, this soldier and why he's uh, so let down in battle. And we'll check that there just to, to secure it to, just to see if uh, he's if he's discovered and we'll check to, the, to to see if we can beat the um this full this little full standard quest on the next series you guys so you don't go anywhere and you will be particular and stay tuned on the next video so thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and uh, watching this episode so if you're liking the series you want to see more of the zero blade chronicles free be sure to leave an advertising like share the video and subscribe 
And if you have already subscribed to my channel already, please do ring the notification bell so that you stay up to notified when my recent awesome videos help out the way. So just make sure you guys are staying tuned in and by all means, all the easy one of these description are filled down below. So if you'd like to help support the series right now, you could do so review my step by step. Just to help get you on started on support my channel and prep the series. So that's gonna be gonna be all it for example like Chronicles 3. We will be picking up more in the next one. So take care guys, I hope to talk to you on the next video.